Hello and welcome. My name is uh, Xavier Labandeira. I'm uh, director of FSR Climate. Um, this is the third online debate that we organize. Uh, we are very proud of the of the two previous uh, online debates, which, by the way, you can you can see online. Uh, the first one on the role of energy efficiency for climate change mitigation, and the second and last before this one on the results of the Paris COP. Um, as before, uh, this online debate, which will take place on, on, on 6th of June from 3 4 uh, Central European time, 3, 3 4 p.m. Central European time, we have uh, excellent participants as before, as I was telling you. But we have some innovation with respect to the previous uh, online debates. And this uh, is related to uh, four short presentations, including this one, that you will have available before the online debate, and uh, where the panelists will uh, show their positions on the, on the topic, and that I strongly advise to see before uh, the online debate, because we won't be able to, to go so deep into the, into the topics. Why this topic? Uh, the potential of distributed energy resources to tackle climate change. Well, I think there are several reasons. First of all, um, climate change is becoming even, even a more pressing issue after new scientific evidence on the, on the dangers uh, and, the, and, the, and the pace of these uh, of, of this, uh, impacts of climate change, and also after the Paris Agreement. Uh, which uh, both things are prompting uh, a strong and, 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 uh, and wide action against climate change, and, 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 and very soon. Second, electricity, as we all know, is a very important sector for climate change uh, policies, uh, due to the fact that uh, their emissions are important, and also its role in the future will be important, because we are expecting energy, uh, electricity, uh, to play uh, a big role in, in transport, for instance. At the same time, in electricity, we have a lot of renewable uh, potentials uh, with respect to other sectors in the, in the economy, so this makes this sector crucial. In this sector, in electricity, there is nowadays a very strong debate on how to deploy future renewable capacities centralized or decentralized, and this is one of the key issues to be discussed in this online debate, and also on the implications of this for grids, for, instance, for example, and, uh, or from storage. And for us, of course, all these three topics uh, leads us, uh, lead us to, to the issue of climate policy and how climate policy is affected by this debate, uh, by these issues, or uh, how climate policy can be designed and implemented so that uh, the relevant uh, questions are taken into account. So this is the general uh, idea for us uh, for this online debate. And uh, let me uh, introduce you briefly who will be in the panel. I think, as I said before, that they are three of them are outstanding experts and also very complementary participants. Uh, we have, uh, first of all, uh, Richard Smalensi from the MIT. Uh, he is uh, one of the most relevant academic energy economists uh, active nowadays. And for us, it's uh, an honor to have him participating in this, in this debate. We also have Laszlo Varro, who is chief, uh, who is chief economist of uh, the International Energy Agency in Paris. Needless to say uh, that he is a very, very important person in, in this debate and in, in, in the world uh, of these uh, topics generally. And finally, we have, uh, last but not least, uh, we have uh, Santiago Blanco. Uh, Santiago Blanco is director uh, and energy area manager for Spain and Portugal of DNVGL, which is the world's largest classification company and the largest technical consultancy to renewable energy, but also to oil and gas industry. So I think uh, you can see how complementary they are, academic, uh, international energy agency, and, and, and then the private sector. Um, as I said, um, all these participants have already prepared uh, roughly around 10 minute presentation, which you can uh, see in the, in the website. 
and uh, let me give some some take messages I, 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 I could uh, I could have from these uh, very very interesting and very good presentations that they have prepared for us and let me start with Santiago Blanco and I think that he starts with the idea of the trilemma that we have um, when we deal with this issue on, on how to uh, provide um, uh, sustainable energy sector um, reliable energy sector and affordable energy sector and this is uh, are really the topics that are behind this debate and um, he he bases a lot of his uh, conclusions on a study a big study they did precisely on on, on this topic uh, from his uh, company and um, he will present some numbers in his uh, in his uh, 10 minute uh, speech and probably in the debate but I would I would say that uh, he insisted a lot on the on the necessary collaboration rather than competition between between centralized and decentralized approaches. Um, Richard Smalensi, uh, another very very interesting uh, presentation uh, where he um, stated the importance of economics in in, in the debate. I think uh, he did it implicitly. But it is clear that this was uh, his main uh, objective and, and how um, cost effectiveness, distributional issues, uh, when he talks about the, the, the cost shifting that may be involved with one alternative or the other, are, are very important to take into account. And I, I think that we as, as economists in, in, in FSR Climate um, share a lot of his uh, views on the importance of our discipline in, in, in this in this area. And finally, uh, Laszlo Barro. Um, he indicated that um, there is a strong need to rethink uh, current electricity systems, uh, and um, in in two directions. First, uh, towards the micro level um, to decentralize. Uh, these uh, uh, existing systems, but also at the ma macro level uh, with uh, further integration of, of these systems. I think this is a, a very interesting topic that uh, he will probably uh, develop in the debate. And of course, he, he also gave a very, a very interesting overview on, 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 on the situation of renewables and, and, and of this debate uh, within that, uh, that topic. Let me raise a couple of questions that are of, of, of special interest for us in FSR climate. The first one is, is quite obvious and um, is related to the role of, um, of, this, of these issues for uh, actual mitigation. Are they important, or very important or mildly important? So I, I, I would ask uh, you to think on this and, and I will try to raise this issue in the debate. Um, second topic that I would like to, to raise is um, a normative kind of, uh, of question on the, on the suggestions for the design and implementation for climate policies and in particular for the areas of our interest, uh, emissions trading, carbon trading, um, energy taxation, energy efficiency policies, renewable policy design. So I, I really look forward to the debate to be able to engage with so interesting uh, people, uh, so interesting panelists, and I hope that many of you will, will join us. Um, you will have to register. By the way, when registering, you will see many questions related to this, uh, to this topic that we will ask you to, to answer. And at the beginning of the debate, we will present the results from, from your questions. Uh, I want to, to organize the debate in three parts. Uh, 20 minutes it, uh, will be devoted to a small presentations by each of them. I will try that they don't reiterate what they already said in the in the 10 minutes in advance. I will use some minutes as well to introduce and to 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 set the rules of the debate. Then I will leave another 20 minutes for internal debate uh, between between the panelists and myself and the last 20 minutes uh, will be open to the public and you will be able to to send questions and and you will see uh, your questions, part of your questions, unfortunately, because we don't have a lot of time, 
answered by, by the panelists. Thanks a lot, and I look forward to seeing you.